Hello my friends, it's Tom, your friend and host with Weapons Education. Please thumb up the video and let's ask ourselves this question, is this country the same as it was two years ago? I can go through a list of 15 reasons why it's not. We know what they are. We're not going to get into the filthiest word in the American language, politics. I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to try to tell you how to stay alive. That's what this is about. So, you got your gun, right? This happens to be an FN 5.7. Wonderful, wonderful self-protection gun. You got your knife. You know I love my extra large Espada. Yeah, I love whipping this out and, and uh, sh sh showing it to you. Yeah, great, great. You might carry a neck knife. I'll do a video on neck knives. This is a high-end one. I'll do a special video on it. Just don't sleep with these because that can happen and then you don't want that. But you got all your goods, right? You, you went to training. You've been to whether the Six Sour Academy or whatever local training facility you have in your area. You've got hours and hours behind you. You took your gal with you. You got her acclimated. Perfect. Everyone's, everyone's buying guns like crazy now. And congratulations to all you new gun owners. Welcome to Weapons Education. Please subscribe, please tell a friend, please spread this video because having your gun, the focus of this video, can not necessarily save your life. And I'm gonna tell you why. Last time I spoke about this, I'm surprised, was 2013, nine years, 10 years, a long time ago. So, we're going to talk about situation awareness. For instance, when I take my family out, I have a wife and two daughters, okay? So, if I go to Costco and get scammed by the crazy prices of the reasons we know why, anyway, I let, I, what I am is I'm the protector. I look at myself as a bodyguard for my family. When I'm driving to get to, I'll use this analogy, to the store, the Costco, okay. I get to a red light, I'm not doing this. Da, 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 on my texting, or, and believe me, I get a lot of texts and I get a lot of comments and my phone goes crazy. I'm, I save that for later, my mind is clear, I want to when I go out, I want to be relaxed and I want to be aware of my surroundings. Aware of your surroundings is the way to stay alive because just having a gun is not going to keep you alive. For instance, if you're sitting at a coffee shop just because they have maybe good coffee and maybe they also have free Wi-Fi. And so you're sitting on your laptop <laughs> all focused in on it. <laughs> What's it going to take for you to look around your surroundings? I'm not necessarily talking to you, but most people, most look around. They're like, they got blinders on. What's it going to take? A gunshot? That's probably what it's going to take. And by then it's too late, you're shot. So my point is, okay, I'm going to a Costco to get scammed on these prices. And what I am is a protector of my family. And if you're by yourself, you're a protector of yourself and all the other innocents around you. You're carrying a deadly weapon. You're, you did the right thing. You got trained. Okay? You're doing everything right. You know what's going on. You've got it accessible. But if you're not paying attention to what's going on, it's useless. So you're at a Costco with my family. This is what I do. They push the cart around. I let them shop. And I'm walking and I'm doing 360s like every 25 feet. Looking down each aisle, looking down each aisle. Whether it's a Walmart or a mall or in a parking lot. I even look under my car before I get in my car. Make sure no one's under it, ready to carjack us. 
They, they know you're coming out with a bunch of expensive stuff out of the... I live in Boca Raton, Boca Town Center Mall. is like, you know, people walk out of the pricey stuff. They want that stuff. So, you want to stay focused. Have a good time, of course, and I'm not saying be a nervous Nelly, but you have to stay focused and be more aware now that of your surroundings than ever. I got a list here to go through, and I'm going to try to go through quick. For instance, are people more desperate now than they were two years ago? We know the answer is yes. Are people, have, do they have less money now than they did two years ago because of inflation, gas, and everything else, and it's going to get worse in the six months following this video because I'm a financial planner. By the way, put your money into fixed conservative accounts right this second. That said, the bottom's falling out of the market. So with that said, people are going to be really desperate when they have no money. And, 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 and they can't afford stuff right now. What if you can't afford a person who can't afford their electric bill? And things like that. What will they go do to get $500 or $1,000? Desperate people do desperate things. Now is the time to be aware of your surroundings more than ever. My wife, I told her, no more wedding ring. She's got a really nice wedding ring. Not, unless I'm with you. That's it. It stays, it stays that we have a vault room. And I don't even wear my wedding, wedding ring because it's too flashy unless we're going to dinner or something like that. And that way I... Uh, and when, when you're at a restaurant, this comes to mind, where do you sit? Here's, here's, some, here's a tidbit. Wild Bill Hickok, remember him from the 1800s? Do you know he died? His rule was always, because he played poker, always was back to the wall, looking at the door, and he kept looking left, right, looking left, right, and at that door, and who's coming in? And he made one bad mistake one night, and asked someone to trade seats with him. He wouldn't do it. True story. And he got shot in the back of the head with a 45 long coat. So, sit at a restaurant where you know where your exits are. Where you, you know the emergency exits, you can see the front door, you can see who's coming and going. Look for suspicious people before you even get in. It's gotten to that point these days, folks. It's gotten to that point where, where people are coming in, they're doing smash and grabs. They don't care. They are so desperate, they don't care. And if you got your gun and you're sitting on your laptop or on your phone texting, brainwashed into this thing, it's not going to work. Your gun's, it, you know, your, your one second is up that you need. So I'm not telling you don't use a cell phone or don't use a laptop. That's silly, but think. Look around, you know, pick your head up every now and then and look around. So, people walking up to ATMs, you know what I do? Oh, I should have brought it in for my car. I have a Garmin uh, dash cam and I record everything. So when I'm driving, there's no he said, she said. You know, if there's an accident or some type of crazy situation happening, I record everything. Don't forget that. Garmin is like the go-to company for that type of electronical products. Uh, you just, it's a suction cup you put on your windshield, you put it into a cigarette lighter, and I recommend that highly because uh, some bicyclist comes across in front of you, who knows, who knows? Some, some, some guy pulls a gun and then, then he says you pulled it first, you want it all on recording, okay? I'm getting to the point where I want to wear a body cam. Not that I'm a nervous Nelly, I just want to have everything in my defense that I never did anything wrong, because I know I won't. So, 
Now, by the way, what am I sporting here? If you have a shotgun, you need one of these. This is called a bandolier. Oh, look at these 12 gauge, three, three inch magnum slugs. Lined on the inside, lined on the outside. Your name here. Weapons education holsters. Holsters. Uh, that's a safe company too. Weapons education safes.com. Weapons education holsters.com. But you want to sport one of these. If you have a shotgun, you got to have a bandolier. It's called a bandolier. Best in the nation. Uh, it was in one movie. I did, lot, I did so much R&D research and development to make this because of the quality on the inside and blah blah blah. I was wondering if it would pay off, but a movie did pick it up, which helped. By the way, I was in a movie. Oh, well, a uh, documentary. It's on Netflix now. It's uh, it's about Gaston Glock. A lot of you caught it and uh, emailed me or mentioned it in the comments. Hey, I just saw you on Netflix. Yeah, the, the first half of the movie, it's called uh, Weapons of Choice on Netflix. And uh, the first half is, uh, I don't like it. The second half was okay about how Gaston, that's what they used my portion for. How Gaston almost got killed by his business partner. And how corrupt that whole business was at the time. But anyway, I'm just getting off, I'm not getting off track here. Okay, now what about just when you're walking to a grocery store? Don't get run over. These people are, they're, they're hyper brains now. They're, 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 they're stressed out. People, I, I've never seen people drive honking. I feel like I'm in New York City all of a sudden and I'm in the calmest, most beautiful Palm Beach County, as gorgeous as it gets, as relaxed and laid back. Palm trees everywhere, everywhere. I'm 10 minutes from President Trump. It's as, as gorgeous as it gets. So people, people in their home thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Northeasterners. And uh, they're, they're desperate. They're, they're, they got, they got to get somewhere quick. Uh, I was to rush. So don't get run over. When you got a car to walk somewhere, look around. Because a car can kill you too. And your gun's not going to help you in that case. Just, I'm just talking, I want the comments on this, because I can't hit everything. Situation awareness. What can you do to save your life so you can use your gun? So you can see the problem before it becomes a problem where you're dead. The idea is for you to stay alive. And your family stay alive. And innocents stay alive. I would give my life for innocence. Any day, any second, I'm out. I'm prepared to go after that shooter, whatever's happening, that is what I would do. Hopefully you're prepared to do that. I know I'm well trained, I know I can hit where I want to hit. I don't care if they're wearing body armor or not, which I doubt. You know, hit them in the groin, hit them in the leg, they can't walk. Now. What about law enforcement? You know, my, I come from a family of law enforcement and great, great, great and all that stuff. But today is the new thing with all this weird defunding and I'm not going to get into all that. Like I said, politics is the filthiest word in the English language. They're basically for after the fact these days. Yeah, it's, it's hot in here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> after the fact they do a report and then where is that gonna go we know you know a lot of people do not get prosecuted so you have to be your own protection and you might say well I'm carrying my gun yeah but your situation awareness isn't there and if it's not there a hundred percent of the times you might get hurt or killed or someone in your family or innocence and uh, what about if your front door rings what are you gonna do just oh, hello oh no oh no I'm thinking of home invasion even more I, I live in a gated community it's kind of really really nice setup here blah 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 but you know what there's a lot of construction going on and these people come in, <coughs> these people come in, 
and you know they pack 10 12 of them on the back of a big truck and they come in and they do lawn service I'm not, I'm not saying they're bad people but of all the crimes in my community over the last 10 years and this particular one I'm in now have been from people like that who are workers who come in who don't live here so when you answer the door be aware have a pistol ready okay have a pistol ready make sure no one's following you home look at you look at your mirrors like I said if you're did I say this if you're at a red light you know I, I look and I look at my rearview mirror I look at the right mirror the left mirror I look at what's going on look who's walking a bicycling or I look for any weird stuff convenience stores I'm on my quadruple alert you got to be on alert I'm walking in 360s at an ATM all the time and females I, I, I commend you a lot of you are getting armed now and great but take this advice closely because you're even more of a, you're an easier target you're smaller than I mean, I'm 6'5", I'm a big guy, if I was a bad guy, I can overtake you. And most men can overtake a female, it's just, it's just, men are built bigger. So, you want your gun, females, but you want to be aware, and you want it ready to go. And you want to be looking around for danger. I'm not saying being a nervous Nelly. But really, at this, at this point in time, and it's going to get worse from the timing of this video over the next six months, when the stock market crashes and things get even worse, and you see gas at $10 a gallon, people are going to do desperate things. And I care about all of you in this audience. And I want you to be aware of your surroundings. And this is my reminder to you to take some of these tidbits. Take care of your children. They want your children, these creeps. They'll try to run them over. They'll try to steal them. Throw them in a van. Anyway, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm trying to be uplifting and positive saying just because you got your gun you got your knife you got your everyday carry doesn't mean you're ready it means now you got to step up to the next level and your safety is between your brain is between between your ears i should say your safety is your brain okay that's what we need to use is our brain non-stop non-stop all the time when you're out, have a good time, but keep your eyeballs rolling around and keep looking. I care about all of you. Please share the video. Please thumb it up. And thank you so much. See you soon. Tom from Weapons Education. Check it out.